us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. All together, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters to, to pray, pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God, God, 
Be Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. You have also forgotten the exhortation addressed to you as children. My son, do not disdain the discipline of the Lord or lose heart when he reproved by him. For whom the Lord loves, he disciplines. He scourges every son he acknowledges. Endure your trials as discipline. God treats you as his sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? At the time, all discipline seems a cause not for joy, but for pain. Yet later, it brings the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who are trained by it. So strengthen your drooping hands and your weak knees. Make straight paths for your feet, that what is lame may not be dislocated, but healed. Strive for peace with everyone, and for that holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one be deprived of the grace of God, that no bitter root spring up and cause trouble, through which many may become defiled. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear Him. For He knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. But the kindness of the Lord is from eternity to eternity toward those who fear Him, and His justice toward children's children among those who keep His covenant. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. 
Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, Where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brothers, brother of James, and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon? Are not his sisters here with us? They took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place, and among his own kin, in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there, apart from curing few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is February 1st, first Wednesday of the second month of the year. Each day, my dear brothers and sisters, is God's blessing for all of us. Yes, we receive and we embrace in order to continue our spiritual journey together with God's presence, who is always faithful to us. Every day is also our fulfillment of our identity. Identity to be true, image, and likeness of God. By achieving this, my dear brothers and sisters, we are all striving to be such the expectation of God to be truly the children of God, truly the image and likeness of God. Along our striving journey, we endure trials. We encounter difficulties in life. Totoo po yan. Marami po tayong nararanasan na pagsubok o hamon sa buhay. Always present in our lives the trials that we have. Our lives always accompanied with trials. We cannot deny that is true in our own journey. Individually, mayroon po tayong pinagdadaanan at mayroon tayong hinaharap na hamon sa buhay. These trials, my dear brothers and sisters, that we have, in our first reading of today, translated to us as discipline. Discipline. Trials that we have translated to us as discipline. Discipline seems a cause not for joy, but for pain. Yet later, it will bring the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who are trained by it. Disiplina ang tunay na pamamaraan upang maging lubos na maging maayos o masasaayos ang buhay natin. May kahirapan at dapat nating maging matyaga ang bawat isa sa atin. Ayaw kasi po natin mahirapan sa buhay natin. Again, always remember, trials is always translated into a discipline for all of us. Huwag tayong maging duwag. Huwag tayong maging mahina na harapin ang mga pagsubok na yan. Sa mga pagsubok na yan, my dear brothers and sisters, doon tayo nakikilala ng Diyos. Doon tayo pinapatatag ng ating Panginoon. Dahil ito ang kinakailangan natin 
upang maging tunay tayong matibay sa ating buhay pang araw-araw. Mahina ang loob kung duwag harapin ang mga pagsubok sa buhay. Walang nagtatagumpay sa buhay kung hindi hinaharap ang hamon sa buhay. Mga kapatid, ito po ang paalala sa atin upang tayo'y maging tunay na naglalakbay kasama ang ating Panginoon. Through our discipline, my dear brothers and sisters, we are bringing to the image of God that is firm and strong to uphold the Spirit of God that is to live out truly in our everyday lives. Walang masasayang kung totoong may disiplina ang sarili dahil ito ang totoong daan upang lubos nating makilala ang Diyos sa ating buhay. Walang ibang pamamaraan upang ang kabutihan ay mapahalagahan. Discipline is one character, one values that we have, that we give value that God has done for all of us. This is true appreciation of real presence of God in us. Looking in our gospel today, my dear brothers and sisters, gives us an opposite of what discipline, being real in one individual, being real in one person, that is rejection. We heard the real situation on how the rejection happens. Rejection, especially by our own relatives, mga mahal natin sa buhay, even our brothers and sisters, our countrymen, can be a very painful experience. Even Jesus in our gospel today was experienced rejection, human attitude that leads to being judgmental or to underestimate his full identity. Jesus is ignored by his own neighbors because of his family background. Very sad, my dear brothers and sisters, not recognizing our Lord because this is Jesus according to external or standard of the world. That is why we are telling today, my dear brothers and sisters, if a person is not mindful, rejection can lead to depression. Again, I will repeat, my dear brothers and sisters, if a person is not mindful, rejection can lead to depression, which when not attended well, can lead us to insanity or even worse. That is the effect of rejection that all of us can do powerfully to our fellow men. Kaya nating gawin na may kalakasang loob para husgahan ang ating kapwa. This is our human tendency every day. Ang lakas ng loob natin na manghusga ng kapwa-tao natin Pero yung effect, hindi po natin naiisip. Again, we go back to our own discipline. If we are disciplined ourselves, mother, brothers, and sisters, we are mindful about our action, our words, uttered from our mouths to other people. Rejection can lead to depression, lead to de destroy oneself. Ito po yung hinihingi sa atin ng ating, mga, ng ating Panginoon na sana kilalanin po natin ang isang tao, ang biyaya ng Diyos, hindi sa ating standard. Because if we sees our brothers and sisters according to the standard of the world, we are being judgmental to them. Our identity based on God's gift, mother, brothers, and sisters, should be standard to be appreciate one another. That is why we are truly appreciate God's blessing. 
God's deed to us, which is translated again to our faith. Kung tayo'y naniniwala at sumasampalataya sa Diyos, pahalagahan po natin ang mga galaw at biyaya ng bawat isa sa atin. We seize other people, we seize our brothers and sisters being likeness and image of God. And for that, my dear brothers and sisters, hindi po natin masasayang ang ating pagsusumikap na ating sundan ang kalooban ng Diyos. Because if we forgotten our own discipline that we apply in our own self every day, ito po'y mangyayari at mangyayari sa buhay natin. Hindi po natin namamalayan. We are rejected or we are doing rejection other people. We are doing rejection other people because we are not mindful because our mind and our hearts is not accordance with to God's will. My dear brothers and sisters, appreciation of God's blessing, appreciation of God's graces bestowed upon us. Sana po nangyayari po ito sa buhay natin. May iwasan po natin ang being judgmental, nagre-reject ng ating kapatao. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus was rejected by His people. In faith, we accept Him as our Lord and Savior. In every petition, we say, God of wisdom and might, bless us. God of wisdom and might, bless us that the leaders of the church may speak the word of God with courage and live it with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of wisdom and might, bless, bless us. us. That Christians may be committed in proclaiming God's word to an unbelieving world. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of wisdom, wisdom and, and might, bless, bless us. us. That missionaries may be patient and not lose heart in sowing the message of God in unwelcoming places. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of wisdom, wisdom and might, bless us. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of wisdom, wisdom and might, bless us. That the dead may enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of wisdom, wisdom and might, bless us. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Father, open our hearts to your word. Forgive us for the times we have refused to listen to your truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. 
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let's Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself be a gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation, to Christ our Lord. And so, in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed, holy o Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will afford out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have been worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ may be guarded to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Perpetual Help, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us, us this day our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord. We pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the very source of our life. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Be the body and blood of God.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this hope to eternal salvation, through faith, may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.